I am about to change your novel writing Bible game in about three minutes. Trust me, I'm going to change it. Are you ready? You sure you're ready? Cool. Okay, we have all been in that situation where you're writing your story and you get to the part and you say, Sarah looked into Susan's eyes, into those, are they blue? Are they black? Are they grey? Are they green? And you can't remember. And you've got to go searching through document after document to go find it because you don't name it properly. If you're like me, you used to have all those details in random word documents that get lost because they do not have useful names. I've done that a lot. Or you have a campfire, maybe a World Anvil subscription that you're definitely using properly. Wink. I can't really wink. Yes, that you're using properly and not just spending money and doing nothing with. I did try those programs myself and they just felt a little restrictive. That you had to answer the exact questions they wanted, you had to do the list and some of the questions because it also works for D&D writers, kind of felt like it didn't work for me. Well, a couple of months ago I was on YouTube and I was looking for a way to organise my life better because I really need to and I came across something that people kept talking about, a piece of software that I think changed my novel writing game. It gave me a bible that I could use in any way I wanted, have the things that I wanted in it and link all the information together chef's kiss. Now that software is called Notion and people use it for timetables, to-do lists, databases of information that they need to keep. And I, as I was watching these videos I thought Notion could be a really good bible and I tried it out and now a couple of people already use Notion as their bible but I haven't heard it a massive amount about it in the authortube community and I think it is such a powerful tool if that's what you think would be best for you. The things that you can have on here you can have character lists Location descriptions, timelines, mood boards, plot out chapters, have scene breakdowns, whatever you can think of or need, you can probably do it in Notion. And the best part, do I mean to tell you? It's free. It's like legitimately free. F R E E. Free. Now I'm going to link to Notion down in the description. So if you want to just get started, I think you need an email address, maybe a Gmail, and that is it. As long as you're having a personal account, obviously business accounts will cost money. I'm not being sponsored by Notion, I just really like it. So go, go do that, click off this video, try. But if you are interested in how my Notion is set up and what I do, you can click on this video. I'm also going to link it down there and you can see how I lay out my character list, how I like my timeline, how I do everything. Also, there's going to be a free template, so you can have the exact same setup as me if you want it. If not, that's cool. And also, if you want to start with my setup and then make it better, do that. So click on that video. I will see you over there.